And I love onions. I feel like you can't get. Oh shit. Okay, so here I have some cooked chickpeas. Some, they still have the skin on it. Um, I think it probably might be better without the skin, but I'm too lazy for that, so I'm not doing that. What I'm about to do is <laughs> cut up an uh, onion. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up an onion and some portobello mushrooms. I love onions. I feel like you can't get. Oh shit. Bruh. I'm gonna stop talking. No. I don't think I did. I cut my nail. Like I said, I love onions. So I have another half onion in the fridge. I'm about to use that. Too. So you're gonna test and see if it's hot. Ooh, sizzle. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my mushroom. I start chopping that up. Okay, you can see that the onions are starting to get translucent. Time for my favorite part, the seasoning. So this is a tablespoon of onion powder. The recipe that I'm reading says two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just shake to look hot. That look hot. Two teaspoons of salt. It says two teaspoons of ground thyme, but I don't have that, so. Oh, I'm gonna start trying to incorporate that. It says two teaspoons of sugar, of brown sugar. For today, I'm gonna try my luck with coconut sugar. It says one teaspoon of ground allspice. It says one teaspoon of dried parsley, but you can use basil as a, tea, uh, as a substitute and basil is electric, parsley is not. It says half a teaspoon of hot pepper flakes. Obviously who made this is Jamaican. Um, I'm gonna sprinkle my pepper flakes in here. Get that mixed in again. Now time for half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Use Ceylon cinnamon. And I'm gonna finish it off with half a teaspoon of cloves. I also forgot ginger. Also want half a teaspoon of ginger. So this is our dry jerk seasoning that we have going on in here. And it kind of has that sweet and sour smell. Even have the look to it. So that's weird. This is kind of cool. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I think this is like a fourth of a cup of water. And just kind of add that here. Cause this is a gravy. It did. Oh, this looks fire. Like this is like jerk seasoning. So I'm very excited for this. Honestly, I'm gonna put a little bit more onion powder in there. Cause this is supposed to have onion and garlic powder, but garlic is not alkaline. So I'm gonna add some more on, um, onion powder. I'm gonna add this much more water. I'm gonna turn up my heat until it starts to boil. All right. So now that this is boiling, 
I'm gonna make it thicker. It's a tablespoon. And this right here is chickpea flour. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, well, wasn't supposed to drop that on me at once, but here we are. Ooh. Mm. Yep, I'm getting thick. And remember, there's no meat in here. Look at this. This looks so. This is, babe. I'm a genius. See, now we get into that that thickness. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Now you like it thick. Excuse me. Now before the morning, you like it thick. No, I don't want that thick. By the way, just to give y'all some context. Never trust what they tell you, they just to give y'all some context, we're talking about waffles. Gonna remove this from heat. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my chickpeas. So Donovan was actually on the phone for this portion um, of the video, so that's what I'm telling you guys what I'm doing. So that's one and a half cups of white spelt flour in the bowl, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of grapeseed oil, a couple dashes of ginger powder. You also would like to use a fourth of a cup of aquafaba. Um, if not, just go ahead and add one cup of spring water and just Mix it until you get this consistency right here in this frame and let that rest for five to ten minutes. So you just want to take a small piece of dough um, and then want to squish it out till it's about this size. Uh, you don't want to make the dough too thin or, and you don't want to make it too thick. Make it like a quarter of an inch um, of thickness flat. And then you want to go ahead and add the filling in the middle. And then, I'm gonna take this and just go boop. And you know, we got you a nice little empanada. I'm gonna get a fork. And just like the um, Pop Tarts that you guys saw, just wanna, well, if you haven't seen it, check out the Pop Tarts video. Can't just assume that you watched it. And boom, first beef patty done. I'm gonna do one more. Flour on this. Melissa's first beef patty. Mmm. It's hot. So I can't see inside your mouth to keep moving. I gotta see inside your mouth so I know you're eating it. For what? I know you're eating it. Okay. Oh, that's good. I see it? Mmm. What does it taste like? What is it missing? More spice? Is it missing more spice? Is it missing all spice? What? Old spice. It needs old spice. I'm gonna try it, even though I'm not Jamaican. 